Hello and welcome to session nine of our small group series, Built on the Rock. Today we're going to continue our emphasis on the practical application of building our lives on the rock of God's word. Today we're going to look at a topic that's been living in the background of this study. It doesn't take too long in God's word before we realize that we are not simply responsible for ourselves, but that we are called by God to reflect his love outward into the lives of those around us. It's also clear that the first people we care for are those within the congregation. When we do, it allows the whole church to be healthy. Now, why is that important? The mission! A healthy church that cares for each other will be much more equipped to care for the broader community and share the love of Jesus. There are many ways to care for one another in the congregation. We talked about some of those a couple sessions ago when we discussed the distinctiveness of the church. However, one of the most fundamental skills in caring for one another seems to be lacking for many of us. Presence. We're losing the art of being together. Now, if I were an idol of the heart and I wanted to defeat the influence of the church on society, I would do everything in my power to pull people into themselves and separate them and convince them that contact with each other is bothering the other person. Perfect. Divide and conquer. It's insidious. The more technologically savvy we become, the less comfortable we are in each other's presence. We don't pick up on social cues. We talk too much or not at all. We're lonely, so we wish someone would pay attention to us, but the reality is we're not really paying attention to anyone else either. I saw this in a powerful way during the years when I was pastor to West African refugees. I would, I would worship with these wonderful people. I would sing with them, play the drum in their praise songs, preach them a sermon. I even had the chance to raise up a new pastor from within their midst. You know, all the formal stuff. Every once in a while, I would get a call on my cell phone from one of the members. Of course, I wanted to know why this person was calling, what crisis had led this person to call me on my cell phone, what theological quandary that I could clear up for them, what guidance I could provide for them in their time of need. The conversation often went something like this. Hello, pastor. Hello, how's the family? And I would engage in small talk and you know, return the favor and ask about his or her family, and we would talk about the goings-on of the church or the community, and then it was over. Well, that was awkward. Um, I would actually start to get suspicious. Like, what was the secret agenda behind this phone call that seemed to be so genuinely concerned for my welfare? No, they actually do this. Like, they actually call each other or visit each other because they care. They'll, they'll even show up at each other's houses and read the Bible and, and pray, and yeah, without it ever even showing up on the church calendar. It's, it's like they really cared for each other. Now, I'm exaggerating my response here to make a point. And the point is this. I was uncomfortable with people genuinely caring for me. I didn't really know how to handle it. In fact, I would have never called one of them just out of the blue to see how they were doing or just to pray with them or just to share something cool from the Bible that I thought would be meaningful for them. But why not? Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be nice? I mean, wouldn't it be great to just get that visit or a phone call or just having someone pray with you or share the Bible with you? I mean, wouldn't it be great if you had the courage to do that for someone else? Well, what's stopping us? We already said that we Christians are a bunch of misfits. Let's lean into it by visiting each other and caring for each other.